HSP, or IgA vasculitis, is the most common systemic vasculitis in children, but don't be fooled, it can strike young adults as well. It presents with the classic triad palpable purpura, arthritis, abdominal pain, and also renal involvement. The hallmark is going to be immune complex deposition of IgA in the small vessels, especially post-URI. So on biopsy, the finding that you can't miss is leukocytoclastic vasculitis. So your neutrophilic debris, fibrinoid necrosis, and red cell extravasation in the, the dermis. So you add in the hematuria and the protein area, and you got a nephritic, not a nephrotic picture. So if you see purpura and joint pain in a young patient, think of IgA and go microscopic to check it out. So some key features here. IgA complex deposition, palpable purpura on the buttocks and the lower limbs, non-blanching. It's not going to be due to your thrombocytopenia, your platelets are going to be normal. Alphralgia, common in the knees, proteinuria, hematuria. So you're going to actually see some protein. It's a type 3 hypersensitivity. Okay, 21 uh, year old man, abdominal cramping, joint stiffness, pain in the buttocks. We got some hematuria, proteinuria. He has a cold five days ago. So what is the finding most likely to be seeing? It's going to be leukocytoclastic vasculitis with IgA deposition. That's going to be classic HSP, palpable purpura, GI symptoms, renal findings. Not going to be eosinophilic, eosinophilic granulomas for B. That'll be your Churg Strauss, asthma, eosinophil, uh, adult onset. Obliterative in arthritis is going to be your syphilis. So that'd be if your plasma cell infiltrates and affects the vasoviform. Fibrin thrombi without inflammation. So that'd be DIC is coagulopathy, thrombocytopenia, and not uh, palpura. Not going to be your localized uh, palpable purpura. Try to say that five times fast. So the most important thing, to so never miss another IgA question, is going to be palpable purpura in the lower extremities, along with your arthralgia and the knees. That's going to be IgA vasculitis, especially in the young patients uh, following a respiratory, upper respiratory infection, URI. Two, renal involvement by proteinuria and hypertension. So you're going to have, have to have protein and then elevated blood pressure usually, and that can indicate like a, a renal involvement. Three, histopath findings of leukocytoclastic vasculitis. So it's going to be a type three. So you're going to have perivascular neutrophilic inflammation and fibrinoid necrosis of the small vessels. That's crucial. So three things. What are they again? One, palpable purpura and arthralgia in the knees. Two, they're going to have some renal involvement and they're going to be relatively young. Three, histopath finding has to have leukocytoclastic vasculitis. It's going to be a small, small, small cell vasculitis. And there we have it. Three things that you need to know in order to get any question right about IgA vasculitis, HSP. Boom. If you thought this was helpful, then go ahead and like and subscribe. Love the feedback. Love hearing what you guys have to say. Good luck studying. Take care of yourselves out there too. And remember, we're just like tiny little people floating on a huge, 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 big bluish dot. So just take some time. Be nice to people. You know, chances are you're not going to live past like 75 or 80. I mean, some of you guys are outliers. going to live for like 100 years. But really just go outside, touch some grass, write a poem, read a poem, start a YouTube channel, do whatever you want. Just enjoy your life. Don't live it for somebody else. Peace out.